Hey, what's up everybody? This is Damron with Trash Ass Gamers bringing you a Battlefield 5 achievement guide for Death from Above, which is to destroy five manned stationary weapons with an airplane in multiplayer. And first off, I want to give credit to where credit is due. Uh, Mattel on True Achievements provided a nice tech solution to this, which I thought I would make a video because it works very well. So first off, what we want to do is find a game of Conquest that has as little as close to 16 players as possible. You're going to maximize your search by, you know, making any region in your search and look at those servers and join a game that has, you know, fewer players, but it's going to need at least 16 to start. So you want to join as close to 16 as possible that's going to maximize one the chances of getting into an airplane and two the chance that someone's not going to mess with you and then when you and your buddy both join a game one of you needs to switch teams and do that by going to the scoreboard and selecting a, another player on the opposing team and then press a to look at their gamer card and then just select join game and then you'll be on the opposing team so now you can see that I am on the opposing team as Omega Death, or other trash ass gamer. So now that we're on the opposing teams, what one player is going to do is spawn as a support class. And the support class is going to allow you to see the stationary weapons when you enter fortification mode by pressing down on the D-pad with your hammer. And you're going to be able to find, you know, any any stationary weapon that you can build. You want a buildable one. It can be a howitzer. It can be a flat gun. Flat guns are nice because you can shoot them up into the air, and the person in the airplane can see exactly where you are. But again, it doesn't really matter as long as it is a stationary weapon. And then once you build it, you're going to pull out your anti-tank mines and put those right beside the um, fortification itself because generally the bombs from the airplane will kill the player but not necessarily kill the fortification but if you place anti-tank mines down beside you then for sure when those bombs hit the player will die and the anti-tank mine explosions will help destroy the fortification as well so i'll show you that really quick i'll basically place some mines beside this flat gun here and you know I'll, I'll shoot them and just the damage from the anti-tank mines alone will be enough to you know kill the fortification um, so again that's what you want to do and set up a support class so you can do this and when you get into the flat gun you know just fire straight up in the air that way the person in the plane has an easier time of uh, figuring out where you are and then once you all have established which gun you're going to be going for this, you can just repeatedly go after that gun kind of over and over to make the process faster. So again, look, the anti-tank mines alone are going to cause enough damage to destroy the emplaced weapon, and the bombs from the airplane will definitely kill you. And then in the airplane, you're going to find that person, and once you all have established where that is, you know, you may have to do a couple flybys to make sure you know exactly where they are, um, you can just repeatedly, you know, build that fortification, fly by, blow it up. The player can rebuild again, put their mind's eye, fly by, blow it up. And you can actually get this done very, very quickly. And I prefer the first or the third person mode of the airplane and using those circles to drop my bombs. So you see there, stationary weapon destroyed and a kill. And that's what's going to count. Um, and also when you need to reload your bombs, you know, fly by these uh, ammo kind of symbols in the sky and that will reload your bomb. And be sure you're picking a bomber, so you should have the 250 kilogram bombs um, as one of your weapons. And again, I prefer the um, third person of the airplane flying. I think it's easier to maneuver. And basically those white circles that you see at the bottom of the screen are where the bombs are going to hit. So I know the gun's there, boom, 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 drop drop all four of them to get that uh, stationary weapon destroyed don't just drop one drop all four by you know pressing um, a or right trigger to just drop all the bombs as you fly by and i'll show you the um, first person here if you go into the first person point of the airplane and press left trigger you'll kind of have this aimer um, but i actually think it's a little more difficult to aim that way and I find it you know much easier to stay in third person mode um, so I'll show you how quickly you can rattle these off so you know we get one here and then he's gonna respawn and I'm just gonna kind of cruise around while he respawns and then as soon as he lets me know hey you know I have the gun repaired and I've got my anti-tank mines down beside it 
um, I can do another flyby and I know exactly where it is because we're using the same location and you know you can really rattle these off you know 30 seconds apart from each other as long as you're in a low lobby server and you probably both you and your partner who are doing this can get this in the same game um, so you'll see how quickly I can get two of these basically back to back once you're all set up and um, understanding how you know you want to go about this Also, you saw him fire the gun there. That person firing the weapon can certainly make it easier to spot. Um, so I hope this guide helped you guys out. Again, credit to Mathwell on True Achievements for the text guide. And if you guys found it helpful, feel free to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.